Hey guys, thanks for joining Wheels and Wheels. Today I'm going to be unpacking my new EV charger. So I wanted you to take a look at this. This is a wall box charger. And I picked this one because it's configurable on the amperage. So if you don't have enough uh, amperage in your circuits um, to handle the uh, different um, amperages, you can uh, adjust this model to different amperages. This is a 40 amp unit. It's a wall box Pulsar Plus, and they also have a 48 amp unit, which is a higher amperage, so you can get more juice into your EV. So this wall box is made by a company in Spain, and what I like about it is that it has a three-year warranty included, which a lot of the uh, other chargers didn't have that much uh, warranty. They only had a one-year warranty. So, and it's also what I like about it is that it's really small. And I'm gonna have it installed right behind me over there by the dryer. So there's not a lot of space. There's only about 12 inches there. So let's see what we have here. A lot of nice packaging. We have the installation guide. And of course, you're gonna have to have a licensed electrician um, installed a new plug there for you. Um, oh, this is great. It tells you the um, amperage reduction label. So it gives you some specs on it. Also, um, this charger would be connected um, using a NEMA 1450 um, outlet. So the electrician will be installing that tomorrow. Let's see, get this out of the way. Okay, so here we have the actual, where you would store the plug. So you have that. And here's the actual unit. Taking that out of there. Let's get this out of the way. So as you can see, the uh, actual unit is pretty small. So I only had 18 inches on that wall there to get it installed. So what I wanted to do was get a charger that was smaller in size. Um, so I found this one and I thought it was great and I love the actual warranty on it. So that's why I picked this unit and also that it's configurable. So you can configure how much amperage you're gonna be using. Um, and I do love that size. So you can see when we're gonna install it back here, it's gonna fit right in there. So it's going to have lots of space for that charger. So we're going to have it installed here and we're going to have the outlet installed close by for this plug. It's the 1450 plug. So as you can see, it's pretty big. Um, it's a four prong outlet. And so it'll go either like this or like this somehow. Oh, and you can actually turn this. So we'll have to see how it all fits in there with the electrician tomorrow. So some other cool features of the wall box is that you can either connect it using the NEMA 1450 plug or you can also hardwire it into your circuit board. There's also a way to have more than one wall box and you can uh, have them connected, I guess, serially and if you have more than one EV, you can park them in your garage and you can charge both cars at the same time. And also what I love about it is it has a three year warranty as well as you can connect to the wall box via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So if your internet's down or your Wi-Fi is down, you can always connect to it uh, via Bluetooth. So it's a nice option to have that as well. Another thing that it has is that it's a really nice thick cable and it's 25 foot long, so you have uh, capability to connect two cars in your two car garage. Uh, most manufacturers have only a 20 foot cable or 21 foot cable. So I really love that feature about the, the wall box. I also love that it's compact and it's small, so it fits in a nice area. And also um, you have your app where you can control your wall box. And there's also a website where you can see actual charging that you've done in the car, your history, um, how many amps you've uh, put into the car, how many kilowatts. 
So that's really nice to have these as well. Another cool feature that the wall box has is that it brings a sticker uh, for amperage reduction labeling so you can actually mark um, what your amperage is that you're going to be using. So if you have a 20 amp circuit, you should probably be using a 16 amp setting. A 25 amp, you should be using a 20 amp setting on your charger. A 30 amp uh, circuit, you can use 24 amp charging capabilities on your circuit. 40 amp, you can go up to 32 amp charging. So it gives you these stickers, so it gives you some guidelines as to what the maximum charging you can set on your wall box. So what you're going to do is you're going to configure that when you set it up in the app, you're going to tell it what amperage you're going to be setting your wall box at, uh, depending on your circuit capabilities. So this model can go up to 40 amps, the 48 amp unit. Uh, you'll have more amperage, more capability as well. So I chose the 40 amp um, because I have a older home and my circuit is probably only going to go up to 32 amp. So we're going to be probably setting it at 32 for now. So also in the future, if you upgrade your circuit breaker boards, um, you can also uh, up the actual amperage. So it gives you that flexibility uh, with those wall box. Or if you move to another home, you can take it with you and set it up in your new home. So it gives you that flexibility. I like, that's what I like using the plug for. If you hardwire it, then you're really not going to be able to easily take it off and move it to another home if you actually moved away. So that's another nice feature to have with this wall box. So I hope you stay tuned to Wheels and Wheels as we explore more EV technology, as well as chargers and cars. So we're gonna have a lot more things coming up soon for you. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to Wheels and Wheels. Thanks so much.